Hi folks, this is Nikhar Maheshwari from Freshersworld.com, the number one job portal for job seekers in India. And today's topic for discussion is, is it the end for engineering courses in India? This question has crossed most of our minds several times and has been addressed in last 2-3 years couple of times by different facts and news articles coming up every now and then. While there have been several initiatives for encouraging startups and more jobs, last year AICT announced it will close down 800 engineering colleges due to less demand of seats. In fact, even campus placements were recorded as only 40% in last few years. This raises a big question in front of us. Is the country witnessing death of the engineering dream? Let's talk in detail about what are the biggest factors that make engineering worthwhile or worthless. The first point is choice of college. As per statistical data, only 40% AICT colleges in India and 66% of IIT graduates get campus placements which means your choice of college does matter. How strong is the placement cell in the college can directly determine the level of opportunities that can be made available for its students. This is only possible if the college belongs to some top university or has been running as a government college for a long time or has its directors, chairpersons, deans and other senior members coming from a strong industrial background having vast previous experience. Their network and tie-ups will help bring them placement opportunities with every growing year of the college. Sometimes, location of the college is also important. For example, a city like Bangalore will definitely have more opportunities and exposure for IT students, whereas places like Goa or Kochi will offer more exposure for marine engineering courses, etc. Another point that makes a lot of difference is the choice of engineering branch. You may get an amazing college, but unless you follow your heart and choose a branch that you are passionate about, engineering will only be books and words to you. There is no point of choosing biotechnology for the sake of the college if you are not interested in the field. Or, there is no point to do software engineering if your heart goes out to be a mechanical engineer. Today, engineering is not just about core branches like CS, IT, EC, Mechanical, etc. But, colleges are offering wide variety of branches to choose from. There's more to engineering than just selecting a branch. You can be a mechanical engineer and do a specialized analytics course that can help you study and build better engines based out of your statistical understanding. You could go for food technology and start working for food companies if you don't see yourself sitting in regular IT jobs. You could also go for Mechatronic which is a combination of mechanical, electrical, mathematics and computer science information technology. You can go for oil and petroleum engineering to get chances abroad. Last and most important is the intention behind doing engineering. If you aspire to be an engineer, you should be ready to explore and experiment then to just do what is told. Because we already have thousands of engineers passing out of college like that every year. They end up not getting jobs or doing regular documentation or desk jobs which do not really require you to go for a BTEC or BE course. Rather than spending huge money on engineering, you could rather consider regular degree courses with some specialized certifications which are offered online these days for many courses like Excel, Cloud Computing, Networking, Web Designing, Analytics, Animation, etc. So is it an end of the engineering dream? Well, if you aspire to be a part of creating and working on new technologies and innovations, then no. Otherwise, well, you could decide what is it that really interests you and look around for many more lucrative options to choose from. In short, do it for the love of the subjects, not due to herd mentality or peer pressure. So folks, that's all for today. If you're looking for any job, register yourself on Freshersworld.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. Until next time, thank you, good luck and goodbye. <laughs>